Hello, welcome to Lotus Mass International School Basic 2 online tutorial. Our subject for today is our world and our people, and it is taken from strand one all about us. Sub strand one nature of God, indicator one attributes of God. So, in today's lesson, we are going to look at the attributes of God. What are the attributes of God? The attributes of God are God's unique features and His wonderful names. The attributes of God are God's unique features and His wonderful names. Let's look at some examples of attributes of God. Some of the attributes of God are God is the giver of life. The life that we have in us was given to us by God. No one gave us the life but God. Two, God is the protector of life. The life he has given us, he protects us for us. That is why when we are going to sleep in the evening, we pray to God to protect our life so that we will see the next day. He is the giver of life. He is the protector of life. Three, God is the giver of rain. No one can make rain for, except God. God gives us rain for us to get a harvest, for plants to grow, for humans to get food to eat. Four, God is the giver of light. I have never seen that the month has ended and angels from heaven has bring a bill that the sunlight that was shining, we have to pay for it. God gives us the sunlight for free. He gives it to us for free. So if they give off light during the day and in the night, the moon and the stars shine in the night and the sun shines in the day. Five, God is the provider. God is the provider here means that he provides us with a lot of things. For instance, God provides us with plants that are medicinal to cure our sicknesses when we are not feeling well. God provides us air to breathe. God heals us when we are ill. This makes him the provider. Let's look at the sixth one. God is caring. God is very, very caring. I've never seen that it has rained and there are some few people that on top of their buildings, the rain didn't fall there because they are sinners. No, God cares for everyone. So it rains on everybody's roof. He gives us everybody air to breathe. Let's go to the seventh one. God is merciful. God has mercy for everyone. That is why when we sin against him and we pray for forgiveness of sins, he forgives us. He is ever merciful. And the eighth one, God is all loving. God loves everyone. That is why he sent his only begotten son to come and die for all of us. Not for only you and not for only me. He loves all of us. That is why Jesus Christ died for all of us. Children, you know this tutorial. There is a word there. Please download it and answer it. Submit it at the school premises for marking. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we will meet again in our next tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.